Woo. Good morning, everyone. What a great day, huh? Uh, I'm Bill Smithcamp, uh, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Valley Children's Healthcare and Valley Children's Hospital. I'm pleased to welcome you all here today for a very exciting, exciting day and newsworthy history making for this hospital. As you can see in the backdrop behind me, the Valley Children's logo has been joined by the U.S. News and World Report Best Children's Hospital Shield. Thank you. I am, I am pleased to announce that Valley Children's has been ranked by the U.S. News and World Report as one of the nation's best children's hospital in neonatology. As many of you know, Valley Children's began as a dream of five young mothers who's had a vision to build a dedicated pediatric hospital in the valley, our valley. Over the years, many members of the community have followed in their footsteps to grow and nurture this vision into what it is today as a dedicated pediatric health care network that serves the needs from Bakersfield to Stockton and over to the coast. I am not sure that these young women, some 65 years ago, really realized what they had started, but I know that today they would be very proud of what we have accomplished. As board member for the last three decades, I have seen and experienced firsthand the miracles that occur here every day. I have watched as physicians and staff bring new programs and services to our community so that children do not need to leave our valley. I have watched as they have participated in nationwide collaboratives to make sure that we are doing all we can to make this hospital the best and the safest in the country. I have watched as they've tirelessly pursued our vision of becoming the nation's best children's hospital. Now others have begun to recognize, such as the U.S. World News and Report, um, have recognized what we are doing here in the San Joaquin Valley. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I would like to personally thank the, na the neonatal team and the entire organization for all that you have achieved these last years. This, this is truly an important milestone in our history and one that we all should be very proud of. At this time, I'd like to introduce Todd Suntrapak, our president and CEO, that, so he can explain what this really means to the children of this valley. Todd? Good morning, everybody. Um, this is uh, such a humbling experience for me and uh, such a great privilege to um, be reminded uh, here this morning with all of you present and many that aren't uh, and can't fit in the room, uh, what a phenomenal uh, team we have here. And it's my great, great uh, lifelong, in fact, privilege to be associated with all of you and the team of doctors, and, and I don't want to leave anybody out this morning, the team of doctors, uh, nurses, the clinical nurse specialists, the neonatal transport team, the dedicated uh, pharmacy staff that are in the NICU, the exceptional, exceptional, and not often easily spotted respiratory care practitioners that are in our NICU, uh, the patient care technicians that are part of this unit, uh, the entire team uh, coming together uh, to care for neonates, and um, I just couldn't be more proud to be among you. I really could not. This is such a great day. We all know at Valley Children's that everyone here has one mission uh, every day, and that's to improve the health and well-being of children. Uh, that's what guides us. That's what gets us to 
wake up very early in the morning or in the case of our exceptional night crew to work all through uh, the deep hours of the night uh, caring for children. We don't do this, none of you do, none of our team does. Dr. Peets and his crew, Dr. Vish for 45 years or more, uh, we don't do this for the recognition. Um, we, don't, we don't do it uh, for rankings. None of you do. Uh, that's not what it's about for us. What it's about for us is to uh, live up to and fulfill a sacred trust that is imparted to everybody here at Valley Children's every day when a family brings their child to us for care. That's why our team does the work that they do and all feel very privileged to be engaged in this work and to make a difference. But it's as good as the US News and World Report ranking feels. What feels even better is to see the recognition in the faces of these children on either side of me and in the audience today and throughout this hospital and see them grow, see them smile, see them grow up after being cared for in our NICU and then go out and have a great time and break their arm uh, <laughs> or twist an ankle and come to Dr. Girardi and, and get fixed because uh, let's not forget that play is the really the only work of children. And for us to play a part uh, in starting a child's life and giving them the best chance to fulfill their future and to work like crazy while they're a kid, meaning to play every day and experience all that life has to offer as a child and then grow up to be a contributor in our great valley, there's no greater uh, reward for us at Valley Children's. Um, we're very, very thankful that this valley has trusted us for coming on seven decades now. Um, we are uh, very pleased to have received this first of what I anticipate to be many rankings by the U.S. News and World Report. But as I said, for us, the true reward is in seeing the children of our valley grow, uh, have happy uh, young lives, and then ultimately be in a position to take care of all of us when we get old and need help. <laughs> So with all of that said, um, uh, and in closing, um, I, I want to leave you with one statistic. Our NICU provides specialized uh, level four neonatal care to over 1,500 fragile babies every year. And that's, a, in fact, a huge, huge number when we look at our peer group across the country. These are some of the smallest, most critically ill babies in our state. And Dr. Peets and his team, the full team, um, even with the challenges of dealing with kids that are so critically ill, our outcomes are easily among the best in the country. And this recognition by U.S. News and World Report is simply an affirmation of that. So now, if you would, please uh, give a warm welcome and join me in welcoming Dr. Jeffrey Peets, our Chief of Newborn Medicine here at Valley <laughs> Todd, thank you uh, very much, and thank you for the detailed thanking that you did, because I don't think I could have listed it as well as you did. Uh, this is a great moment for this unit and for this hospital. Uh, for decades, we have constantly asked ourselves, how can we be better? We've assembled a great team of clinicians. We've participated in national collaboratives to try to improve our outcome. We've implemented cutting edge treatment modalities. There's data that's being released in the back of the hospital that will show you some of our, <coughs> excuse me, outcome statistics. And if you look at those numbers, you will see that in 2014, the last year that we had numbers, uh, our mortality rate was approximately one-fourth the national average. Our complication rate was easily in the best quartile of those units reporting. 
comparing apples to apples. Um, and these numbers are exciting to talk about, but uh, how do we talk about these things in less mathematical terms? If we talk about Matthew, or Tyson Matthew Perez, I don't think he made it today. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, I will get through this. <laughs> Tyson is five years old. His birth weight was 360 grams. For those of you who are metrically challenged, <laughs> That's approximately eight-tenths of a pound, or put it another way, he was the weight of approximately a medium-sized can of Coca-Cola. At the time he was born, the literature reported 50 children with birth weights under 400 grams who had survived. Well, as you can see, Tyson is here. He's a very dangerous preemie. <laughs> he practices martial arts with his dad. <laughs> and I could talk about lots of these stories. Uh, there are so many, just in this room alone. But I need to thank some people. Uh, many people have jobs, and they work an entire lifetime, and at the end of their careers, uh, they wonder if they did anything worthwhile. People that work here do not have that problem. So I would like to thank our 14 neonatologists, our neonatal nurse practitioners, our more than 200 neonatal bedside nurses, dozens of pediatric respiratory therapists, our multi multidisciplinary care team. But this recognition is not just about the NICU. Uh, there are lots and lots of people who come from outside the NICU, who are within the Valley Children's Family that contribute. There are brain surgeons, there are heart surgeons, there are cardiologists, endocrinologists, geneticists. They are not technically in the NICU, but they're very important to the function of this NICU. And without all of you, we would not be able to do what we have done. I'm not a religious guy, but you're doing God's work. And to quote Dr. Prohaska, who said this many times, this is a sacred place. And now I'd like to introduce one of our moms, Mrs. Rowan. She is going to tell us about her thoughts about our NICU. Thanks. Good morning. We're honored to be here on such a special day. We will never truly be able to express the gratitude we have for the NICU team at Valley Children's Hospital. My husband and I have been blessed with two beautiful little ones who both spent time here being cared for by the NICU staff. Shockingly, our son Maddox was born at 24 weeks and spent five months in the NICU. Being told and then thinking this would never happen again, three years later our daughter Reagan surprised us at 26 weeks and spent three months in the NICU. At one pound, 12 ounces, and two pounds, two ounces, many of you know more than anyone just how terrifying that is. From emergency surgeries, discussing DNRs, to hugging nurses, doctors, and staff on our last days, and everything in between, we've experienced many different emotions during our NICU journeys. The doctors, nurses, and staff will always hold a special place in our hearts. For the combined 259 days in the NICU, my husband and I were there every day. The NICU staff became our family and support system. Even though our son faces many challenges, both of our babies are happy and full of energy and we are very grateful. We may not have been so lucky if it wasn't for the care at Valley Children's Hospital. 
Knowing that an excellent hospital like Valley Children's is in our community is one thing. Experiencing firsthand the compassion and excellent care that was given to our children, as well as my husband and I, makes us exponentially more grateful. The nurses and doctors always made us feel like our kids were more than just patients. They cried with us, laughed with us, and prayed with us. It made the most difficult times in our lives a little easier to bear. Thank you to our friends at Valley Children's Hospital for saving our children's lives, making it possible for us to be a happy family of four. We are eternally grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. There's just one um, final uh, thank you I'd like to make um, before we uh, adjourn. Uh, there are refreshments out uh, side the, the uh, conference center here, but it's important to me that uh, we all take a minute and reflect on not just the accomplishments uh, of our team here, uh, as great as they are. Uh, this uh, recognition should really be celebrated by every community in this valley. Uh, our neighbors, our friends, uh, our donors, our volunteers who work tirelessly here, scores of them in fact, over 500. Um, wherever you go up and down the valley, for close to 70 years now, there have been investments made by families in Valley Children's that have catapulted us to the place that we're at today so that we can be here to care for all of our children in a way that is clinically excellent and almost unparalleled anywhere else in this country. So I want to thank all of the Valley's residents and citizens for supporting Valley Children's these many years and for the future decades to come. I want to thank all of you for coming out. Uh, it is a fantastic morning. It's great to see you. Thanks again, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you.